Oh, we're going to get to the bird in a second. I've had a lot of different people ask me how they should submit their video for Trick of the Week. I'd say the best way to do it is on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Sweets is our page. You can go and post your video. And from there, I can export it to my blog and the website and things like that. If you can send it to me an email, that'd be awesome. It's video at sweetskindamas.com. We also have YouTube. So if YouTube's the easiest way, we have Vimeo as well. So go to either one of those and you can load it up and just tag me in it and I'll be able to see it. As long as I can see it, I'll make sure it gets in the eyes of everyone else so we can get you the winning trick of the week. All right? Good luck. Now, back to the bird. What up? Matt Jorgensen, Sweets Kadamas, coming to you live this week with the new trick of the week. Things got a little mixed up, a little computer problems, so we've had to push the bird back one week. But this week I'm expecting to see some crazy bird tricks from all you guys. So, you may notice I'm using my new metallic blue limited edition Ozura. Got it from iPeer Shop. It's awesome. I love it. I wasn't going to open it, Dutch Kendama, but I had to do it. It looked too nice and it's, it's awesome. I like it a lot. So, the bird, for all you who don't know how to do it. You want a real light grip on the Ken. You don't want to squeeze it real tight and try to balance it, move it around and stuff. You got to have a nice light grip. So you're going to approach it as if you're going to do a peg. Like when you just do spike, hold it nice and straight and you pull the ball up and you spike it. We're going to do that same exact concept except we want to spike it on the cup. With the bird, what you want to do is you're going to get the ball, the hole, to rest right on the big cup like that. So you're going to have a nice little uh, bird perching on the side of your can. And from there, you just want to throw it up and peg it. So. Like I said, you're gonna to wanna to pretend like you're gonna spike it, bend your knees like always, and just get it to sit nice and easy right on that big cup. Ooh, no peg. But you can see there's a lot of different ways. There's two other birds that you can do for this week's contest that I'll be accepting. You can do a bird on the other side, the small cup. One more try, I'll get this time. I was practicing this one for the Ken Garden, Ken Battle. For the Ken Garden, they call this Nightingale. Nightingale to in. But the other one that you have is the Underbird. Now the Underbird is when you flip your Kendama upside down, you hold it the candlestick grip, like this. You can hold it by the peg, or you can pistol grip it, kind of like this. This is what I do. So it gives you a nice, easy base to land the Underbird like that. So you want to keep the same, same motion, bend your D's, and you're going to get it to stop on the bottom side of the big cut. And lean right up against there, just like that. The way I like to get out of it is, I like to throw the kendama and catch it by the can and peg it. So we'll see if I can do it. Oh, almost. But as you can see, there's a lot of different things you can do with the bird. So I expect to see a crazy trick of the week this week. I think we're going to have a nice Kendama prize at the end of this one too, so let's see it. 